corner three for Edwards. That's short. And Chris Paul ahead of Booker. And Booker does not waste any time. They find him early and often as well. Booker unable to connect, but Aiton comes up with the rebound and taken away. A six point advantage. Okogi, he chased down Booker not once but twice on the fast break and came up with blocks from behind. And hopefully, you have players like that right there. That at the point of attack, the on ball defender can can defend without needing a lot of help. Towns, the great fake on the three, gets into the paint, takes the contact. Rebounded by McGee. And Booker. Edwards comes over and says, get that shot out of here. Did not score well against the Clippers, but he has done a great job, Dave, of being efficient in his game. Really have his teammates come to the party. Because Minnesota is not a good shooting team they they don't shoot the three very well they don't shoot from the mid-range very well d'angelo De russell and anthony Edwards can score excellent job mm. booker there you go Jaden. it's exactly right oh. the ball gets knocked out of town's hand but Jaden was there that was to help on javel mcgee it was yet to score tonight oh four from the field does have five rebounds though beasley no the Phoenix Suns field goal percentage down to 32 percent. So the number one shooting team in the NBA is shooting 32 percent now. Devin Booker gets that one to go. So hard for Carl to play in face-up game if Pat Bev is standing in the corner. Booker can't get that to go. Devin Booker just two of seven in the game. He does have seven points. 18 points in the quarter for Minnesota. Well, that's how many the Suns had in the first quarter. No matter what happens in this final 2.2, it's going to be the lowest scoring half that they've had all season. Excellent offensive rebounder. D'Lo gets the hoop and a hard there. Devin Booker is going to get called for the foul. Yeah, you and I had a conversation about that today, though, that you know, he, I don't know that that always tells the full story because when you don't shoot it that well, you get more second chance opportunities. McGee is a very good offensive rebounder. The Phoenix Suns are still 29th in the NBA in offensive rebound percentage. Ant can't get that to go. He's going to get fouled on the pass off. Aaron Smith is saying that Jaden went underneath his elbow and hit his elbow up, but that's not what happened. Well, technique, he, he, he didn't run up underneath him. That's not what Aaron Smith called. He said he hit his elbow. One of the things that Chris Finch said in Los Angeles was that he's eight and rolls again to the rim. Booker kicks it into the corner. Nice ball movement by the Suns. And Booker gets the Suns a second chance. And he'll go to the free throw line. Booker kicks it into the corner. Nice ball movement by the Suns. Booker gets the Suns a second chance. And he'll go to the free throw line. Booker kicks it into the corner. Nice ball movement by the Suns. And Booker gets the Suns a second chance. And he'll go to the free throw line. Any points from Booker here will count as second chance points. And it's already 10, making now 11-6 in favor of Phoenix. Say hey, fans. Head to the Bally Sports North Facebook page after this game for the Timberwolves Fast Break brought to you by Nucle uh, Nucleus Network. We'll have a review of tonight's game and a preview of the game coming up on Wednesday. But it's been entertaining nonetheless. Booker uh, beautifully set up to JaVale McGee. Booker shoots the free throw on the other end. Booker stealing it away. And Booker throws it off the front of the rim, but a whistle. It's just not good technique. And he needs to watch the video. 
excellent job in pick and roll game in early offense that time using the Vando screen. I'm gonna say does not need Devin Booker to start getting going now. Yeah. Edwards dumps it off for Vanderbilt. Thought Vanderbilt might have got fouled by Booker. No whistle. Playing a pick and roll game and being another scorer on the floor, a floor spacer, a guy that gets you to play with a pick and roll, and Devin Booker can't get that to go. Minnesota. How is that not traveling? That's, that's a great question. The crowd he, he, the he tried to draw the foul, but he didn't get the call. He get the turnover anyway. Oh, the ball don't lie. Johnson, a whirling shot. Booker. Edwards has done a nice job on Booker all night long. And he was draped all over him there and a little bit too much so, according to Aaron Smith. The high wall, the big, when they're in pick and roll, of getting up into Booker's face and making him give it up. And Minnesota Lee, Booker working off the elbow against Edwards. We move in on the five minute mark. Book with the ball fake, sets up the flyby. Money. 13 ties and 12 lead changes tonight. And now Russell gets fouled in the corner. And this target center crowd getting loud, calling for some defense. Booker. Man, that's... Chris Paul finds Booker. And we're tied with 204 left. Russell weaves into the paint, and D'Lo is going to go to the free throw line with a chance to give the Wolves back the lead. He can hit the one free throw. Booker wing pass inside for Aiton. We're able to get out and defend the three-point shot. Aiton has been giving those threes up to Towns. Can Minnesota stop Devin Booker? No. Whatever they do, they're going to have to take it out of bounds on the baseline and run it up the court. So, luckily for Minnesota, there's plenty of time. But Booker misses, misses the first. You, you might have a special situation play that you have in this full court situation. Booker rattles home the second. So, two to tie, three to win for Minnesota, or at least three to go in front. 